Welcome to our pinotage block. This is our only block of pinotage that we have on the farm. It's roughly about two hectares large and this block was planted in 2000. Um, as you can see it's uh, ready for the pruning, it's in hibernation. And pinotage is a variety that was created in South Africa um, through crossing Pinot Noir with what was then known as Hermitage or is more commonly now known as uh, Cinso. And pinotage is just really great. I think it's, when it's young, it tends to be the fruit that you get from the vine. It tends to be a lot more like Cinso. Um, a lot of ripe, uh, very over-the-top flavors. But I think as the vines mature, it starts to tend a lot more towards Pinot Noir, which is uh, something that we, uh, we're quite happy with and we quite like in it. Um, it becomes a little bit more elegant and a bit more fresh and delicate. And um, this is the, the basis of our uh, Dornier Pinotage. A great wine, been making it since 2004 and it's almost effortless in the vines and the vineyard practices. Welcome to the uh, Pinotage segment of our Dornier range. Um, as mentioned, Pinotage is a cross between uh, the uh, Cinso and the Pinot Noir. And um, in 2007, being the vintage that we will taste now, it really tends a lot more towards the Pinot Noir characteristics. It has a nice elegance, uh, sort of some, some rustical characters as well. Um, it doesn't have that sort of wild character that Simso has. It has it lingering in the background, but I think it's more dominant on the Pinot Noir characteristics. And here we have sort of nice earthiness, um, some plum characteristics, and for me, probably the biggest bonus about this one, or the biggest plus factor, is the drinkability and the incredible sort of sweetness that it has on the palate without being sweet. I think the, the wine's the sugar is about 2.5 grams per litre, which is dry, but it has that incredible sweetness on the palate. I think it's just the fruit concentration. And one of the vineyards that uh, requires very little work but produces amazing fruit year after year in 2007 is no exception. And on the palate of this wine, um, let me just It has a, a real refined tannin structure and pinotage can sometimes tend to be quite bitter or have a very large tannin structure sort of even over the top. But 2007 was a good vintage, really um, elegant wines and I think it favoured the, the pinotage a lot in that factor. Just made a wine that was maybe a bit more elegant as I said earlier, a little bit more pinot noir like uh, but still the robustness of pinotage coming from the sensor side.